Good evening everyone, this is Outlaw 2044 with another edition of Night of the Dead. So here we are at uh, night number five, it's going to be day six, and let's see what I've set up for today. So let's turn on the camera mode. Alright, so of course the defenses are using here, the ones that are the fire cannons are back here, so in case I need to run back here, and I'll probably set myself on fire doing that. But that should be fun. So, I've set up a tunnel of death here. Now, I found out by accident that you can actually stack these things. So, here's a crusher, here's a spiked floor, and a guillotine. So, all three of these things are in this one little area here. And this goes repeats and repeats, and then we have the pendulum, and then it happens a few more times down here. So, the idea is they will climb up this ramp, and they'll get the spiked or crushed or chopped and if they make it past that they get pushed up by the pendulum never mind the trash over there I didn't have any more room in my inventory um, the pendulum knocks them off then they have to come back around and do it again so there's two more pendulums that do the same thing knock them off hopefully they'll have to run any spikes and then come back around to do it again uh, oh here we go wave has started coming this way they like coming from this way. It's blocked off. Good. All right. Uh, There's going to be a short video if they all decide to come through this hole here and right at me. So hopefully they're not going to do that. So, as you can see, I am ready at the end of this thing, on the under end, with the crossbow, and I'll be picking them off as they're coming in. Okay, no nothing there. Going on yet. Just a little altitude here, and look. No. So we already know where the spawn point is, which is back that way, which means they're flying along and soon they'll hit the ground here and start running around this way and coming in. So let's turn off camera mode and we'll go back to here. Ah good, they're coming around. Thanks. Let's be ready. Looks like you more bolts. That's not like it was painful. So. Nice. Now, uh, from what I understand, each one of these has so many times for the reset. Uh, 10 for the spikes, 10 for the choppers, I think 100 for the guillotines. Let's do this. Run back up here. We're going to run back and try a little hideout here. Yeah, 
I'm terrible at navigating my own maze now. Alright, so... Let's get up here. I'm gonna go watch with the camera mode from the other end. After that is what we wanna see, right? We're gonna see how these things are working chopped up. Oh, hold on a second here. Let me back up a little bit. Here we are. Coming this way, what are they doing? Hanging out over there? Oh, I'm gonna have to review this pathing. Yeah. I'm gonna have to put spikes all along here to make them run out this way, otherwise, they're just gonna keep coming this way. No, no, here he comes, alright. He decided to get a little toasty first. There we go. I want to nice little yeah. and your toast. Run into the spikes along the way. Now, see, I put these spikes here so when the pendulum throws them out, they would hopefully hit the spikes and they'd have to come back around. But apparently, they're just gonna run into them before they even get the stairs. Ah, we got one green one. More. All right. So eventually this is going to run out and then the next one will still be firing. So hopefully with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight, which means about, about ten, like a hundred operations of each thing, that should be more than enough to take care of all the zombies for ten. To make it a little easier, I'm just going to put the spikes leading all the way up here. Now, I've turned the volume on the game way down. Uh, let's see if I can make sure it's even lower. I know that if I walk over here, I will. Over here and bug them. Now I didn't put walls here because if they fell in here, they'll start destroying everything because they can't get back out. Uh, but this side probably would be uh, probably should put a wall there. Huh? Nothing really fixed. I like Mr. Zombie.
Yeah, I should put them all just because. Yeah, I don't have enough planks. I'll go stand back here. That way they can't jump at me. I don't know what about to happen. All the wonderful crap mayhem. That guy's just having a bad day. He's not punching. Oh, no. That guy. This is my ass. Those others aren't so bad, but those big nasty ones, yeah. Ah, uh, nothing like a seven. Oh, there we go, too. There you go, baby. Crossbow for your effort. Well, uh, my traps were very impressive, but there's a lot less zombies than I thought there would be. So, that's not exactly a bad thing. I don't have to worry about that uh, too much, I guess. And we're done for tonight. Okay, so we survived another night. Uh, wave 7 is supposed to be the really bad one. So we'll see. But it looks like we're ready. We have a few pathing issues, but I want to make sure. Excuse me, I'm talking here. Hey. Some zombies. Alright, so uh, there's a few pathing issues. I want to put some spikes along here to kind of guide them this way. That way they can. I, excuse me, I'm, I'm talking here. Right. Right. Some people. Alright, so tomorrow night we're going to try again with a new pathing and see how that goes. In the meanwhile, we're going to go hunt some more bears and find a bunch of good stuff to loot. Alright, you guys have a great evening and thank you for watching. This is Outlaw2044. Check out my maps on Discord. And I've got some new maps and some new ideas coming out soon. Thanks. Bye.